little bit of rain on the ground there, but you know, this week it's kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, this week is looking really good, especially as we get into the week deeper. Let's check in with Pamela now for your full forecast. Oh, yes, no heat waves for this week. Not going to see the 80s or 90s like what we had last week, but not going to see extremely chilly temperatures either. Today, yes, it is running a little bit cooler than compared to yesterday, but it's going to be the coolest day for a long time. Brief warm up coming at you in the middle of your seven day forecast. Right now, temperatures in the 50s in most communities, some 60 degree ratings there, but it's the rain that's dominating. And it was a cloudy, overcast day with an onshore wind along the coast and temperatures stuck in the 50s, even some upper 40s, too. The rain has picked up in intensity and is staying steady across northern and western parts of our viewing area, and that would include New Hampshire here. From Concord to Manchester, Manchester are getting a brief break in the rain, those showers pushing north and east. A more spotty showers here across the Merrimack Valley, up through Cape Ann, Ipswich, Beverly, a few sprinkles and overcast skies, but not a washout for this evening. More showers are lining up to the south and west of you across Cape Ann and Essex County in Medford, the North Shore, just outside of Boston, some light rain and light to steady rain back across the Mass Pike, Oxford to Worcester, Grafton in this pushing towards Westboro, Framingham also getting some steady downpours at this time, Plymouth across the South Shore, Marshfield, the rain just starting to push offshore at this time, Wareham, Upper Cape, some light rain, and the rain does continue across the Outer Cape and murky conditions with low visibility just off the coast of Nantucket. We have this ocean storm, the center of low pressure that will continue to move out to sea, but that's what's bringing in that shield of rain across southeastern Massachusetts, while to the north and west across New Hampshire, it's a cold front bringing in the rain. And this is going to dominate overnight, kicking out this coastal low, and we'll be done, we'll be cooler, we'll be drier for Monday, done with the rain after that early morning commute. Here's the hour by hour timing. Nothing too heavy. Could see up to a quarter of an inch of accumulation in some of the highest rain totals, but most of us, it's going to be a mostly dry night. 7 a.m. Monday, waking up to some leftover areas of drizzle just off the coast. Overcast skies across Boston, while inland, more sunshine and clearing skies will be the trend for the rest of the afternoon and evening. All clear Monday night into Tuesday. And cool nights and warm afternoons will be the theme for the rest of this week as we see these forecast highs. For the work week, average high for Boston, 63 this time of the year. Be right on the dot for Monday. 68 degrees on Tuesday, warming to 74 Wednesday, and still in the low 70s for both Thursday and Friday. And temperatures now in the 50s and 60s, while overnight tonight, we're starting off 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday in Boston. We're going to fall maybe a degree or two overnight, but a lot of communities seeing those lows and high temperatures tomorrow. Cooler on the coast, while inland, you'll see those low to mid 60s. Here's your seven day. You see the 60s, but also the sunshine. And keep in mind, sea breezes will develop, as is typical. Cooler along the coast and across Cape Cod and the islands. Another chance for rain Friday into next weekend. It could be a little bit of an active weather pattern. Nothing major, but just keeping some showers around Saturday and Sunday. Ken? The old spring showers, right? Exactly. Right, Pamela, thanks.